So let's talk about macros. I, I didn't realize that not everybody um, does know about macros. So um, I have one of my clients, um, she's super smart. Um, you know, she um, works in a bank, she does um, house loans. So, I mean, she has a good amount of education and she didn't know what, um, what macros are. And I realized this more and more where people ask me, what exactly are macros? And it's so simple because a few years back, I'm sorry, I think my bun is all crooked. I think it's been crooked all day, so just ignore it. Um, so <laughs> um, a few years ago, we changed where we just said, uh, it's your carbohydrates, it's your protein, it's your fat, it's your nutrition. Now we call everything macros. It makes, me, makes it look a little bit more um, special. Um, so macros are just your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. And again, I have people ask me what exactly um, they, you know, actually years ago, somebody asked me, is butter a protein? I'm like, no, it's a fat. So it's really interesting. So your fats are your, all your oils that you use for yourself, for your cooking, whatever it is. Um, avocado belongs to oil. <coughs> Nuts and seeds have high amounts of, uh, of fats in it, but you might not necessarily, um, call it a fat because it also has carbohydrates and a little bit of protein in it. So it's kind of like you have, that's why you have to be careful with nuts and seeds because they're high in fats and they add up to your calories really quickly. Um, <clears throat> and uh, of course your butter. Uh, so your butter is uh, a fat. Um, and then of course your proteins is all your uh, animal fats, uh, animal meats, your chicken, your fish, um, your beef, your turkey has all protein. And of course we have protein, some call um, beans protein, even though they have a little bit more carbs, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a protein. It does have protein in it, but so does brown rice and brown rice is a, is a carbohydrate. So um, most of your meats, your protein shake, of course is a protein. There's protein shakes, there's a meal replacement that have higher amounts of carbohydrates in it. They're a little bit high in calories. And then of course you have the snack protein shakes that have mostly protein in it and barely any carbs or very low amounts of carbs in it. Um, your eggs belongs to the proteins, even though the egg yolk has fat in it. So like if you are on a certain amount of macros, uh, let's say you're doing 33% from protein, 33% from carbs and 33% from fat, then you have to watch your eggs. You know, you just have to put it towards your fat intake also. Uh, but you know, everybody has, um, you know, uh, food tracking applications on their phone now. So it's easy to track because the application does it for you. Um, <clears throat> and of course, then you have your carbohydrates and carbohydrates are simple. Um, it's your rice, your beans, your oatmeal, um, corn actually belongs to carbohydrates. It's not a vegetable. And it's something that I don't want people to eat because it turns into sugar really quickly in your body. Um, you know, your beans, I would say, uh, your bread, your pasta, um, you know, anything that has flour, your flour products are all carbohydrates. Um, so if your carbohydrates are here for energy and um, protein is for muscle repair, and, but if you're low in carbohydrates, your muscle might turn your, um, your, uh, your body might turn your muscle into glycogen. So it turns your muscle into carbohydrates because it needs to be fueled. Um, your fat is an energy source. So if you are, um, you know, if you're done with your carbs, um, next time, next thing to go to is usually your fats. If you have healthy fats, if it's nasty fats, it's not good fats, you know, you just store them. You know, you're not gonna burn them off. You're just gonna store them. So right now with inflation being this high and I can't increase my prices. So of course I make way less money than before. Uh, I'm, I compensate a little bit with my groceries. So uh, for instance, um, I'm trying to buy um, beef only when it's on sale and then I buy it in a big chunk of it because as soon as they have to cut it, they add to that price. Um, then of course I do um, turkey still, uh, yeah, turkey, turkey hamburger meat is still kind of affordable. Um, chicken breast is a little bit higher, um, but not as much as beef. So you can still do your chicken breast. Uh, this week I'm doing chicken legs. I take off the skin actually of the leg, but I'll cook it, I bake it in the oven with the skin. And then before I eat it, I take it off because actually I want a little bit of that animal fat 
because it increases your um, collagen in your skin. Um, and then of course um, I made some um, green beans and uh, you know I don't have too many of them. I'd rather have a salad and of course I have my escarole salad which is my favorite salad and I have leftover red cabbage that I'm using. You know, we're still in winter, we're still in the cold season, not in Vegas, but usually we are. <laughs> and so I like seasonal vegetables, which is usually your cabbage. Um, last, last week I had some sauerkraut. And so, you know, I'm trying to add that a little bit in there. Not, I'm not doing too much of the summer vegetables. I'm doing mostly the winter vegetables right now. And, uh, and I always um, cook my rice in bulk, so it's mostly for my husband. So I cook rice in bulk. I, I cook enough rice that'll last a whole week and whatever is left over, I put it in Ziploc bags and I freeze it. And what I do is the night before the next dinner, I um, I put them, I got it, I get it out and leave it in my fridge and it uh, defrosts by itself. And I'll add it. I hate to throw out food. One of the reasons for all this global warming is all the food leftovers because everybody just throws it out it creates gas it goes into our atmosphere so i don't wanna i don't wanna waste food not only that but i'm extremely cheap so um <laughs> so anyway um so this is what i do um i try to the to the minimum with my grocery list and i stick to it uh, i don't go during the week and go and buy stupid things just so i can go and i don't know go to the grocery store. So I don't do that anymore. I restrict myself. Um, I give myself a budget. And uh, if you are uh, the same as me, you can do that too. You know, don't waste money right now because inflation is really high. And uh, <coughs> I will just have to wait it out because in another few months it'll come down and, uh, and then prices are coming down again. But until then we'll have to be smarter. Anyway, so this is my food um, uh, that I cooked. I'm gonna show you in this video. Salad. So I have green onions. I have a little bit of a regular onion in there. Tomatoes, and then I have eggs also, boiled eggs that I have in there. And I'm gonna add my tuna fish. I'm not going to add any salad dressing until right before I eat it. And I usually use um, avocado or olive oil and an apple cider vinegar. You can use a little bit of um, Himalayan salt or Celtic salt, pepper, and whatever spices you want to put in there. It's all blended. It's really pretty and colorful. And um, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Um, this is uh, three lunch servings and they each of them have four ounces of tuna and a little bit of the eggs in there as well. So I used, uh, I used only three eggs, so it's less than one egg per meal. So my breakfast, um, for breakfast, because um, the remaining three days I'm cooking it fresh. <clears throat> but on the other days I have to be in the gym at 5 a.m. in the morning. So it's just egg whites and eggs. I have a little bit of a super lean turkey sausage. I have my uh, leftover green onions in there, a little bit tomato. And uh, yep, and some just oh, their favorite, uh, my favorite German red cabbage left from last week. I'm just gonna put it in these containers and freeze it. And uh, next week I'm going to use that um, the day of, you know, defrost it right quick and then um, yeah, add it to so my. So this is my other vegetables. It'll be green beans. I um, cooked them in a little tiny little bit of um, vegetables. Uh, broth and uh, escarole salad my favorite it has a little bit of a bitter taste and all you have to do is soak it for 15 minutes in lukewarm water and it'll take that bitter taste out my baked chicken i just put some dash seasoning on it uh, i like the lemon lime it tastes a little bit like you're eating um Mexican food. So now I would like to include a little stability ball workout that I did. It's so simple, but I'm using a full body workout with a stability ball. If you've never used a stability ball, make sure that you get used to it first because um, it works all your stabilizing muscles. It works on balance. It's really important as you get older and uh, um, you know, you can do everything on it, but just watch it. If you're a little bit insecure in the beginning, put it on a wall and you have a little bit more support 
Um, but you can do a full body. So here in this video, I kept it really simple. There was too many people already in the gym. I do this every Friday. I need to stop doing this. Uh, I want to come in at five o'clock in the morning and do my workout at five o'clock in the morning when it's not that busy. Then I have a client at six o'clock. At seven o'clock, I'm doing this workout and it's already packed in the gym. So I have to, I have to schedule this differently, obviously. But um, uh, so it's simple. It's just squats. I did hamstring curls. I did uh, roll-ins toward the uh, knees to the chest. I did some back rows, um, uh, chest press, flies. I did shoulder presses, biceps, and triceps. So pretty simple. Um, there's still some people in the back row running because as soon as I got up in that little area that's usually dead and nobody's there, um, somebody walks right up there and walks into my camera. I had to turn it around towards the track, which I didn't want to do and uh, you know people just are so nosy I don't know don't be so nosy I can't have you in the background anyway so so um, simple simple workout um, I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video thank you so much are you ready to work out so don't judge me because it's a process I'll get there but um, let's do it let's do it session 6 a.m. and 4 p.m. on Fridays um, I worked out only um, I trained only one girl my uh, other girl didn't show up she probably went out last night and she got a little bit or maybe she got a little bit sick still she has a little bit of a strep throat so um, anyway I did a little bit of a routine upstairs with the stability ball and uh, sadly I did this at 7 again and I have to get my butt moving anyway so um, too many people they always decide as soon as you put up a, a tripod everybody decides that they're going to um, 
work right in that area and I can have people in the background so there's a few people running uh, hopefully uh, it doesn't show too much of their faces and uh, since this is a beginning um, YouTube channel it's probably nobody's gonna watch it so <laughs> But, uh, I mean, those are all people that I know. They're really nice. They wouldn't even mind. But, um, <clears throat> anyway, so it was a little bit difficult to do. But I did some, um, you know, easy stuff. Um, squats, uh, leg curls, and uh, roll-ins. And we did um, back rows. I did chest press and flies. We did shoulder press, bicep, tricep. So you don't really need to train your abs in addition to that because your core is working the whole time your abs and your core is working the whole time um, but um, you know uh, do like 15 to 20 reps of each that would be good if you can and just do dumbbells that are um, comfortable for you and then um, do three to four sets and it will give you a little bit in between workout anyway so uh, you know women over 50 they need to work out and uh, if you haven't worked out, you just need to be getting slowly into it. When you first sit on that stability ball, it's kind of hard because you have to start um, using your stabilizers. And uh, we usually don't use them anymore if we're not working out. You know, we're just sitting on a computer, we're sitting in front of the TV, you know, we're doing little movements in the kitchen, cleaning the house, but it doesn't really use, use your stabilizer a lot. So, so we need, as we get older, we need more of the stabilizing muscles. We need to learn how to balance all the stuff that will help us later not be in a freaking walker because that's not what we want. So we want to stay young and vibrant. 